Welcome back, I'm Captain Xavier, and uh, this is going to be a really fun video when it's all said and done. I am so looking forward to this. I was contacted by a company that builds costume wheelchairs and asked if I could build the Vulcan Cannon for a uh, wheelchair warthog from Halo. And that's not a request you turn down. Uh, they're actually just uh, south of me in Portland, so I will actually get to see this uh, in the parade, uh, which you will see later on in the video, uh, hopefully. Hopefully I get some of that film. Anyway, I am going to build the Vulcan Cannon out of a Vulcan, of all things. Uh, I recently got a hold of um, some files that should allow me to replace the barrel with a more uh, appropriate barrel for the uh, Halo one, since that one is a giant three-barreled minigun, at least the the one I remember. I think there's a later one that has the full six barrels, but I'm going to go with the, the longer three barrel one. The barrel's not actually going to rotate. Um, they didn't want that because it would just be, uh, while it would look cool, it would be another complication and they wanted it simple as possible. Uh, it is going to have all of the original wiring completely replaced because it's going to be running off of the 12 volt battery that the wheelchair runs off of. So I may end up actually doing a spring upgrade. We will see. Uh, for now, I'm just going to wire it directly to a, a jack that they can then uh, wire their the wheelchair in, because the wheelchair will have a joystick that allows him to control the gun, uh, aim the gun, as well as fire the blaster. So um, the original trigger will do nothing at all. It'll just have negative and positive coming in from the chair. 
uh, and the switch will be in the chair. So there won't actually be a firing switch in the blaster. Uh, and then everything else is going to get uh, gutted and painted, and uh, it should be truly, truly epic. So let's get this started. All right, well, there's the guts. Uh, they, they come out in a nice, neat little package that you can then put into just about anything you wanted. Uh, it doesn't have a bolt, though, so that limits the, uh, the usefulness of it. However, it's very similar in many respects to a stampede. Uh, but I will be removing the manual prime, or the manual firing, and won't bother to put the bolt back in. Um, I'll be taking out all of the switches, and we'll just have negative and positive going straight to the motor leads. Uh, just to make it as simple as I possibly can. Uh, so this is the cosmetic work. I've got it painted up in black and OD green. Um, as well as the, the ammo can, and the top bit, um, the battery tray. Uh, it has been pretty much completely gutted, otherwise it's not even going to have a trigger because it's not going to be able to be fired manually. It's only going to be able to be fired um, using the... Uh, oh, I need to paint that. Uh, only being able to be fired using the uh, controller in the wheelchair. Um, the kid in the wheelchair will have a joystick that will turn and elevate the gun, supposedly, uh, as well as a trigger to fire it. So this will just have... Uh, Negative and positive out, that'll just, using the this jack, the negative will come straight from the battery that's powering everything else, it's a 12 volt battery so it should work just fine, and then the positive will come from the trigger switch, and that will make the blaster go. So, it should be fairly simple. The barrel uh, is a modify, a simplified and modified version of RE Armory's barrel. He gave me the files, and I am going to shamelessly reuse them for this. It also isn't going to rotate like his does because that was an added complication that we decided was neither necessary uh, nor particularly prudent because if it were to fail in some manner uh, that would be a problem. So we're going with the simpler version of just having the three barrels. I've got a few modifications I still need to make to that and then I just need to uh, wire up the jack which is just going to um, get wired in and probably just come out the bottom right here so you can just plug it in uh, and then we'll just go up into the housing probably just drill some holes or something so it just comes out right there and you just um, connect it right up uh, some of the details on that will still need to get worked out with the uh, the rest of the design team who are actually building uh, the wheelchair uh, but it's going to be pretty darn groovy, I think. There we have the barrel. Like I said, it was designed to hold six, but I'm only putting the three in. I think it still looks pretty cool, though. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. The Vulcan Cannon for a Halo Warthog-themed wheelchair. I think it came out gorgeous. This barrel was originally designed for six, and I only have three, and I suppose you could cut this to make it look more like it's intended for three, but I think it actually looks pretty good. Definitely like this color of green. I wasn't sure I was going to. It seemed a little bit felled grau at first, but uh, an extra coat, and it came out definitely more of the, uh, the halo green, so I'm definitely pleased about that. It shoots beautifully. It, uh, it's going to be running on 12 volts. Um, so it'll have a good rate of fire, but it hasn't had any internal modifications uh, because it was pretty much just for cosmetics. It just needs to shoot things, which it'll do. Tomorrow's going to be fun. Get to go down, meet the guy who's doing the actual build and see what they've got built so far. Should be cool. So this is definitely the kind of project I enjoy. This is also why I haven't been taking commissions. I've been doing stuff like this. It occurred to me today that I had never actually finished editing and uploading this video, which is kind of a testament to how busy I've been lately, because this was the coolest project I've yet been involved in. Uh, this is the sort of thing I love doing with my time and my, my skills and my tools and all that, uh, is making life better for other people. Uh, when they reached out to me, I was just overjoyed that, one, they had even considered me, and the, the fact that apparently my name has gotten out there as the sort of person that would do something like this, which is a cool reputation to have. Uh, having built the Owen Tank previously was pretty much what got them to my channel. 
Uh, they saw the footage that we, you know, that we put out for that handicap accessible blaster. And since then, I've actually built another one, just like the Owen tank, only mounted differently. Um, and it came out fantastic. And then this one obviously came out absolutely gorgeously. Magic Wheelchair does such amazing stuff. They contract out to other people. That is how they, you know, they find people who have the skills and, and the tools and whatnot to build things. Uh, and so when they, the guy uh, who was contracted to build the, the main uh, wheelchair, he had to, you know, find someone who could do nerf blasters. And when he went searching, he found me. And turns out I wasn't that far away. This was built down in Portland. So, um, I was able to hand deliver it rather than him having to, you know, have it shipped from you know, who knows where. So that was really, really, really cool. And there were a few things that, uh, cosmetically, obviously, we forgot to put the blast shield on the gun, uh, on the blaster. I was expecting them to build it as part of the mount, and they, you know, over, overlooked it. And uh, if I'd known, I would have built one out of a stampede shield or something just to, to really get the the full cosmetic look. But it still came out looking really, really well. And it worked beautifully. The little joystick in the uh, in the driver's seat fires the gun. They never were able to get the servos to work to actually move and elevate the gun. That was... Uh, they didn't have... Ended up not having time to, to figure out how to get that to work. But uh, firing it works fantastically. And... Microsoft actually provided all of the sounds from Halo for them to wire into it. So there's buttons on the steering wheel that do like the horn noise and the turning the engine on noise. And there's a button for um, the makes the gun noise and another one that makes the plays the the Halo theme song. So all of that was provided by Microsoft, which was really cool of them. Uh, Magic Wheelchair tends to go to a lot of conventions and that sort of thing, and this one being you know Halo based, there's a good chance that it'll get to go to all sorts of uh, video game conventions, which would be really, really cool, and I'd love to actually be able to to, to meet the, the the young man who was built for it, because I never get never did get to. I wasn't able to make it to the parade that it was featured in, and I didn't get I wasn't able to make it to the uh, revealing because of work. Uh, and the when I did finally get to see it fully completed, it was for the fundraiser that was being held at a bar, and so he wasn't able to go to that. Um, so I, I've yet to actually meet the young man and 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 say hi. Uh, hopefully I will someday, uh, and hopefully they I will get to do more things like this because they did actually pass my name up to Magic Wheelchair and said, "Hey, this guy is willing to do more of these if they need to." Because I absolutely am. That is the sort of thing I would absolutely love to do more of. Um, because one, I like doing costume stuff, and two, I like making cool things for people and making them happy. Um, the the three wheelchair builds that I've done so far have all either given something to someone who never had it or given it back. The The second Owen Tank style one um, was for a man who had developed ALS and could no longer do Nerf Wars with his son, so his wife commissioned to, uh, me to build um, basically an Owen Tank for Father's Day for him. So hopefully I have footage of that and I'll get that uploaded too. Um, but that was another uh, amazing build to be involved in. But this was by far the coolest, uh, and I absolutely love how it turned out. So let me know what you guys think down in the comment section about this particular build, if you're Halo fans uh, or just fans of video games in general. Uh, let me know what you guys think, and uh, thank you guys for watching.